what is the easiest way to kill an alien? Use your chainsaw, of course. This is Shenso Club, a two-dimensional action game where aliens have attacked Earth. They must be stopped immediately. Shenso Club is made by the Swedish studio Pixadome and is available in Nintendo's eShop on September 1st. In this video, I take a closer look at how the game is experienced on the Nintendo Switch and whether it is worth buying. So yeah, this game is about aliens and the threat that surrounds our world. A boy is out walking with his mother when they suddenly see some UFOs approaching the earth. An agent has noted the presence of the aliens and step into action. Apparently, the aliens speak English and have names like Frank, for example. They have evil intentions. A girl who was the subject of an experiment is awakened from her slumber and now has the task of saving humanity from all aliens. At its core, it seems like a very simple story, but it takes some interesting turns along the way. In addition, most of it is told like a comic book, which is very nice. The game is designed in a somewhat unconventional way. The courses usually consist of rooms where all enemies must be eliminated before the exit opens up, so there is very little side-scrolling in this game, the experience is mostly static. What makes everything more interesting are all the side quests that pop up at regular intervals. It can be about completing various bonus stages, killing mini-bosses, or getting through darkened rooms. It's an entertaining aspect of the game, you never know what to expect. The oddest stage is probably the one where you are chased by a mammoth. Here you need to be quick to react, otherwise you risk being mangled. The game has four different difficulty levels, which means that it can shoot all players. It can be both very forgiving or extremely brutal. But one detail I suppose is the same for all levels of difficulty that you only have one life. If you lose all energy or life force, it's game over. In this way, it's important to be careful and think through your maneuvers. If you take too many risks, there is a risk of losing energy. Sometimes it's better to play it safe and ensure your survival. The enemies look very cartoonish and almost a little cute, but there are many different types of enemies that all have different strengths. Some are at ground level, others are flying, some shoot electric balls, while others are strong in melee range. Actually, it's nothing spectacular. Those who are used to two-dimensional action games will probably not be that surprised. You've seen most of it before. However, the bosses are actually quite interesting, most of the time they are oversized and can do a lot of damage. It may be important to learn how they behave so that you can eliminate them smoothly. Again, you don't want to waste too much energy, you only have one life. The control gives a mixed impression, above all, it doesn't feel so good to jump. A gentle touch on the B button means that you still jump way too high. Also. The jumps feel slow, since this is a game that can require a high tempo. It would have felt better if the characters had a slightly faster jump. In my opinion, it's one of the game's big problems. I don't want to go as far as to say it ruins the experience as a whole, but it definitely affects the experience of the game negatively. You can also do a dash, which can be useful in many situations, and the dash ability is sometimes more useful than jumping. However, there are limitations. You can only use the dash horizontally and vertically, not diagonally. I don't know if there is a power-up that gives access to a horizontal dash, but from what I've discovered so far, the possibility doesn't exist. The funny thing is that all the characters have different strengths and weaknesses. Personally, I prefer Alice. She has a hookshot that is very useful. With it, she can approach her enemies at a fast pace, stun them and then eliminate them. Very useful and fun actually. Then there is Molly that shoots cannonballs. The other characters mostly use melee attacks, but Molly is the one who kills from afar. However, these characters are not playable from the start, they must be unlocked. And you do that by progressing through the story. Shenzo Club is an indie game full of variety. 
The funnest thing is probably that the stages are unpredictable, which makes everything feel fresh every time you play. In addition, you can choose between 5 characters with different strengths and weaknesses. There is some replay value due to the different difficulty levels combined with trying out different characters. The graphics are nice and give a futuristic impression. Certain details also bring more life to the stages. For example, the train moving in the background. I've tried playing the game both in docked mode and handheld. No major problems. No crashes, no lag, it seems to be a solid game. The only thing I had complaints about was the control, especially how to jump. Unfortunately, I haven't found any option to customize the control either. In the menu there is no option how to set up the control scheme. Maybe it will be available in a future patch, who knows. But overall, this is a perfectly fine game. I had fun playing it. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. I review new games every week. Have a nice day. See ya.